So we have our Hipster Shop app, and we've been talking a lot about Istio. But when you have Istio managing microservices, why would we need API management and Apogee? Sure, I get this question all the time. In simple words, Istio is great to manage microservices, but when the developers decide to share those services to other teams or external developers, they need to publish an API. A successful API needs to be easily consumed. That's where API management comes in. With Apigee, you can easily employ standard API management capabilities. Sounds like a helpful set of features. Can you show me how I can get this set up? Sure, let me show how it works. Let's use Hipster Shop app for the demo. Hipster Shop app is a 10 tier microservices application, a web based app where users can browse items, add them to the cart, and purchase them, which is running entirely on Kubernetes and managed by Istio. This is the service architecture of the Hipster Shop app. So far, the shipping service is utilized only by the internal microservices. Now we want to expose the shipping service as a tracking API to the third party developers so they can take advantage of the service. Let's go back and expose the shipping service as tracking API using this virtual service. Tracking in the API path is pointed to the shipping service, which is running on Kubernetes. Once the service is created, let's access the API to see if it is created successfully and we can retrieve the tracking details of the tracking ID. Once the necessary Apigee provisioning is taken care of, these definitions here are to configure the Apigee mixer in Istio so that we can start using the capabilities. Let's look at some of the things we can do in Apigee. This configuration tells Istio to send all the required attributes to Mixer for each transaction, which will be forwarded to Apigee for analytics reporting and apply rules to traffic flowing through the Istio service mesh. Once the configurations are set, let's create a rule to capture analytics for all the inbound calls to the microservices. This records all the abode defined fields and forwards to Apigee for analytics reporting. Let's go to the Apigee management UI to access the out-of-box reports to view the metrics for all the microservices or for an individual service. This particular dashboard, proxy performance, displays the total traffic, success, and failure metrics. There are out-of-box reports and custom reports to get various metrics like error code and latency and more. We have an API, but we don't have it in a way that developers can start using it to create developer apps. To permit that, let's create an API product from the Apigee Edge Management UI. For this product, we'll call it as Take5 product. This is a place where the API team can define the access level settings, quota settings, including all of the shipping service resources that the developer applications can access. This is the ship service name of the shipping service in Kubernetes. Once the API product is created and available, developers can go to the Hipster Shop developer portal to test the API and create their apps. Let's look at the API product and tracking API that is published. As there is no security, anyone that is logged in can access the API and retrieve the tracking details. In this case, the API team is unaware of who is accessing the API and is unable to enforce controls. Let's protect the API. This rule helps in safeguarding the inbound traffic to the shipping service with an API key. As the next step, we'll apply the rule. Developers can't access the API without a key, which they can they get by creating an app. Let's go back to the developer portal, log in as a developer, create an app, and access the API. This application will be called as hipster demo app and will copy the key that is generated. If you access the API as a developer without a key, it should fail as we don't have the authorization headers. Now let's make the same call with the right header to be able to retrieve the tracking details through the successful response. By doing all of this, you can see that Apigee is doing the API key verifications, security is enforced, and the API key is valid. Great, so with Apigee, I can manage my APIs so other developers can build applications on top of mine. Exactly, Istio and Apigee can help you build your application and make it too cool for school. If you like what you saw, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to get in contact with us or know more about Istio, Apigee, and microservices, click on the links in the description.